to the same opportunism uh, that's done so much damage over the past few days. No doubt with a carefully calculated vote at the end designed for release on social media afterwards. I implore members opposite to park the opportunism. I know the Honourable Member for Stretford Nerves and think this is, thinks this is a good crisis which the Labour Party should exploit. And I know she speaks for a lot of her front bench colleagues when she says that. You just need to see it in the support, U-turn, oppose approach that's characterised their hindsight-heavy behaviour. But, uh, excuse me, did the Honourable Lady just call me scum? Order! 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 From the front bench, we will not have remarks like that. Not under any circumstances, no matter how heartfelt it might be. Not at all. Point of order. Thank you, Madam Deputy Speaker. I think one of the things I'd ask you a guidance on is the Honourable Members saying things about the front bench which is inaccurate in their speech, and I'd ask them to withdraw it. It's not for the Chair to decide what is accurate or inaccurate. I cannot make such a judgment, but of course I will ask the Honourable Gentleman uh, to be reasonable in what he says and to be careful of his remarks. And I'm sure that if the honor Honourable Gentleman feels that he has said anything that is, is offensive to the Honourable Lady, then uh, he will undoubtedly withdraw and apologise immediately. Mr Chris Clarks. Thank you, Madam Deputy Speaker, and thank you for your guidance. I should clarify, I asked the Honourable Lady if she called me that. That's what I heard. Yes, exactly right. uh, I'd implore the members, the members Honourable to look at the damage that's being done here.